Karen and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about The Train to Impossible Places by P.G. Bell. First of all, I would like to talk to you about this cover because holy crap, it is so beautiful. I'll just show you. And this is a hardback. So this is a slip cover. Let me just take this off for you. This is the special edition hardback that Usborne's done for independent bookshops. And it's got bananas on the end papers. I, I love this. It is so beautiful. And especially once you read the book, this illustration is amazing and is so accurate. And I love every single thing about it. So now that I've had a little minor freak out and fangirl about the cover of this book, Let's talk about the story itself, shall we? This story is about Susie Smith, who one day wakes up in the middle of the night and there's this weird troll creature in her downstairs hall um, laying train tracks and there's this massive magical train that appears in the middle of her house. And with that, uh, Susie goes on an incredible adventure to all the impossible places. This is like a fantasy adventure. It's kind of in the classic children's fantasy adventure tradition. But it's got magical creatures, it's got the big plot to rule over all of the impossible places, it's got friendship, it's got family, it's got all these weird kind of fun troll tinker technology that I absolutely loved. And the train in question is actually the impossible postal express. So they kind of jump through tunnels from one impossible place to the other, delivering mail and packages. This book is so charming. It had a bit of a slow start for me. I think I only got properly invested around chapter five. Ever since then, I was absolutely hooked. I raced through right to the end. This is gonna be the first in a series, so I am so excited to see what else PG Bell kind of throws at us because this first one was just like a rip roaring adventure and I absolutely loved it. I feel like I'm having a good kind of like streak of reading really fun middle grade fantasy adventures and I'm gonna have to just continue I think and find some more. So do let me know down below in the comments if you have any recommendations. I would highly recommend this to anyone who likes reading middle grade adventure with a bit of fantasy and some crazy things thrown in and bananas. You need some bananas in your life. So there you have it, that was my super quick super fast mini review of The Train to Impossible Places by P.G. Bell. Let me know down below in the comments if you've read it and if you have, what was your favourite part? Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell and I'll talk to all of you very soon. Bye.